<laughs> I'm still learning. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Starlink on a budget. This is an old direct TV uh, mount and I got this out of an abandoned building. I live in one of the most remote locations in the United States on the Macaw Reservation and we have very limited resources here so sometimes we just have to learn to make do with whatever we have laying around. I know these options aren't ideal but it's the best we can do. Oh, a spider in there. Yuck. <laughs> Next time I do that, I'm wearing a respirator. I got asbestos all over my face, inhaled some. I'm sure I'd remember, but somebody else might come along and unsuspectingly put their finger in the hole in here and um, cut themselves, so I don't want that on me. I got our mount ready. Let's go do this install. That's the north side of the house. We're gonna put it up on. I'm actually surprised they have this Starlink right here, and I know that this is not exactly a clear view of the north sky because you can see the house is right there. Apparently this is working just like it is. It's always a good thing when you go through and you don't, the drill doesn't just fall through. That means you hit something solid. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't, oh, I didn't bring a dang wrench for this. That one, that one. Sure. This stuff's really messy, but it's like a guarantee that it's not gonna leak. So it's worth, that part of it's worth it. I got enough on there now. I'm not gonna screw it all the way down right now because I'm gonna put some tar underneath all of those. You put your two biggest bolts on the, the middle ones because those actually go into that two by four that runs um, vertical. A little bit sideways, but that'll add some strength to it, I guess. So the drill bit's not as wide as the, the bolt itself there? No, you know, the, the drill bits are um, a, bit, a little bit smaller than the threads. Because if it's the same size as the threads, then the threads wouldn't be able to grab anything. I see a lot of spa installs where they only put two in the top, but I've got one extra one I'll put in the bottom. So. Oh, there's something solid there too. Being close up. <laughs> So this is what it looks like when it's done. Just put hose clamps on there and tar. Except I think Daryl got more tar on him than the fish. So if you like this video, be sure and subscribe to my channel. I post a variety of content on here. I have too many hobbies and interests to have a channel for each of them. So I decided to just post everything here. So I'll hopefully see you in the next video.